Hey everybody, welcome back to Code a Responsive Website with Bootstrap 3. This video is called Coding the Feature Section. Basically in this video we are going to start coding this section right here with the, the heading, more features with this cool lorem ipsum or hipster ipsum text and these three um, panels as they are called in Bootstrap 3. This is a panel. And we're going to be adding some cool CSS3 circles and some buttons. But first, we're going to do the HTML. So let's go to our HTML. Open your index file. Go down to the features heading div, that row with the ID of features heading. Inside the features heading, let's give uh, a div the class of call 12 to span the full width of the browser. And uh, an H2, more features. And let's give a paragraph with a class of lead. I put uh, in the, the finished product, finished website, what's called hipster ipsum. Basically, it's just lorem ipsum using hipster language. And you can just get yourself some hipster ipsum for your website when you're working on your website and you don't have copy yet. So I'm just gonna put one paragraph, hipster with a shot of Latin or hipster neat. I want hipster neat. Be or me, there it is. Just a bunch of hipster jargon. So copy that. Cornhole, I like this one. Cornhole, Kitch Williamsburg, Pug, Bicycle Rights, Vegan. Copy that text and you could paste it right in your leading text right there and save that let's check it out on our website refresh more features cornhole kitsch williamsburg pug bicycle rights vegan neutral food truck occupy kitsch sustainable that sounds hipster to me and next we're going to go down to the features id the row with the idea of features and start adding those awesome panels so Let's give uh, a div with a class of call dash small or sm dash four. Uh, if you recall in a previous lecture, this is a Bootstrap 3 class that allows us to have a um, uh, column that is, uh, or rather a section that is four columns wide. So because we have a box, we have three boxes these sections right here, these are actually four columns wide each. And the reason why they're four columns wide each and there are three, it might seem confusing, because if you remember, this needs to add up to 12. The width needs to add up to 12. So if I want three sections, 12 divided by three is four. So four columns, four columns, four columns. That's how I get these three sections. If I wanted four sections, I'd have Three columns, three columns, three columns, three columns, uh, and so on and so forth. So we're actually using call-small or sm-4. And the reason we're using sm is because we want it to stay in its layout, the three, that three kind of uh, three column style layout. We want it to maintain that layout even when it's really small like this. That's how the uh, that's what that class does. So if I were to go even smaller, it will go to the horizontal width, but it maintains that layout just a little bit longer because we use that call dash sm dash four. Whereas if we used call dash lg dash four, so call large four, it would have popped down into the horizontal, sorry, the the vertical that stacked layout a lot earlier. Also, give it the class of feature. Close that div, I'm gonna say end feature. And within that, div class panel. That is a bootstrap class, uh, a brand new bootstrap three component called panels. Uh, and it allows us to do some really cool CSS, uh, really cool layouts without having to play with CSS too much. Div class panel heading. We want to have that heading at the top, that top bar with the gray background. Heading. 
And inside here, we want an H3 with the class of panel title. This is all part of the panel component. Markup with HTML5. Let's add an image. The source will be images slash badge underscore HTML5 dot JPEG. The reason why we didn't use the dot dot slash dot dot slash here is because the images folder is in the same directory as the index file. So we don't have to do any dot dot slashes. Have to add some alt text. All right, HTML5, that's what that badge is. All right, let's move down just a little bit. And let's add a paragraph tag. This is where we're gonna add the text of the panel. So I already have some hipster rips, some text copied in my clipboard. I'm just gonna paste it in here. You could paste whatever you want. You could copy the same one up here if you want, put it here. You can come up with your own text. You could just try it out. And under that, we need to add a button. A href. Let's leave it empty for now. And a target underscore blank. So actually, I'm gonna put a link in here. I'm gonna put a, a link to my course PSC to HTML5, CSS3, and I don't want it to open in the same window. I want it to open up in a new tab or a new window. So that's what target underscore blank does. Class, button, button warning, button block. So uh, this is another CSS class. These CSS classes from Bootstrap. For the buttons, button warning just gives you an orange button. Typically you would use it for, you know, say if, uh, are you sure you want to proceed? You know, are you sure you want to save these settings or whatever, that's what the button, uh, that's kind of the idea behind this. It doesn't have to be a warning button. It could be, you know, just an orange button. Uh, no one has to see that the class is called button warning, but that's how you achieve it. And inside the button, let's give some text, learn to code HTML5, save that. Let's see what that, looks like in our website. So we pretty much got it, it looks pretty good. Uh, there's, there's some CSS uh, that needs to happen, but we'll get to that. But we, it looks pretty good. We've got four columns here, one, two, three, four, or one column if you wanna consider this one big column. There's gonna be two more here. So it's gonna be really easy to add a couple more. All you need to do is copy feature and below it, add two more. Paste them two times, save that, just check it out, see if it's all there. So they're all there, we just need to change the content and that's really easy. Let's go back to our second one. Let's change this, where's the second one? There it is. To style with CSS3. CSS3, the alt text, we're gonna change the image to CSS3. And let's just leave the same text there. That doesn't really matter. Style it up with CSS3. And change the button style to button danger. That's gonna give us a red button. It's not actually dangerous. Uh, save that. And I'm pretty sure we've changed everything properly. Let's refresh and see if we've got that in there. Style CSS3, CSS3 image. Text, style it up CSS3, you got our danger button. Warning button, danger button. And our last panel right here, feature panel. Let's change this to framework by bootstrap three for the panel title. Let's change the image to badge boot, uh, yeah, bootstrap. And bootstrap three will be the alt text. And then uh, let's change the button text to more bootstrap. And the button will be button info. It's another button style. It gives you a light blue button by default. And we're going to uh, add a different link here. We're going to add the get bootstrap website, HTTP get bootstrap.com save that let's refresh and check it out there it is markup with html5 style css3 framework by bootstrap 3 so this looks pretty good uh, now let's actually 
add a helper class, a Bootstrap 3 helper class, to make these images circles because currently they're squares and the final website are nice pretty little circles. Let's change that. You're going to be blown away by how easy it is to do this. So on your image tag, give it a class of img for image dash circle. Put that on the other two. Image tags, paste, paste, save, refresh. Watch this. That looks so good. All right. Okay. Uh, I believe that is it for our panels. So in the next lecture, we're going to do a little bit of CSS to make uh, these look proper because currently they're all left aligned. This is all centered, has a little bit of extra mar uh, margin. So uh, we're going to do that in the next lecture and it's going to be super quick. See you there, friends.